I'm Yolande Poirier from Oracle Technology Network and I'm here today at Devox UK talking to Attila Segeti. Mm -hmm. Hi Attila. Hi. So Attila, tell us what you do for Oracle. All right, well, uh, I'm an engineer, formerly a principal member of technical staff that uh, I work at the uh, Java Lang Tools uh, group, which comprises uh, people working on uh, the compiler, the language, the uh, libraries, and few other things. And uh, my work is in the few other things category, which uh, right now is uh, uh, writing a new JavaScript runtime for JDK 8. Uh, Java, since Java 6 is shipping with the scripting environment in it, and it used to be Mozilla's uh, Rhino uh, JavaScript runtime, which was an open source uh, runtime that uh, Oracle appropriated uh, for, uh, for, for, for use in the JDK, but for various reasons uh, we felt the need that to, uh, to actually implement one from the scratch and uh, that's what we are doing now and this is the, 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 the this is the project that's known as uh, Nashorn. So where are we right now with Nashorn? The well uh, we are in a fairly good spot right now with the project uh, it is slated to ship with uh, JDK 8 uh, this uh, fall or wherever it, or whenever it ships. Um, we are feature and specification compliant completely uh, we are targeting the uh, the newest uh, uh, version of the JavaScript specification actually the ECMA script specification 5.1 and uh, uh, it comes with a test suite of some 11.5 thousand tests and uh, Nashorn is passing 100% of those tests and to my best knowledge it is the only JavaScript runtime in existence that actually passes all of those tests. So we are fairly proud of, uh, of having achieved that. And uh, now that we are fully functional, the uh, next, uh, next uh, front that we are battling on is, uh, is uh, squeezing as much performance as we can out of this thing. So last weekend you had an event uh, organized by the London uh, Java User Group. Yes. And uh, so how did it go? Oh, it was quite fabulous. It was um, so yeah. The, uh, it was advertised as Nashorn Hackathon, and it was the first event of this kind uh, uh, organized ever. It uh, coincided quite nicely with the first release of Nashorn in JDK because uh, uh, just this weekend we released JDK uh, eight early access release build 82 and that's the first one that actually has Nashorn integrated in it. So uh, uh, we, we had this event where we basically had the participants come in with their own laptops. They were either given uh, USB sticks or DVD, uh, uh, DVD discs with uh, the source code to the OpenJDK and uh, the Nashorn or they could just pull the uh, currently live repo. We worked with them to uh, have them build OpenJDK and Nashorn and then uh, start playing with it. We, uh, it was mostly uh, so independent assisted kind of work so myself uh, was there. We had uh, uh, Ben Summers from the uh, Java user community there and Ben Evans and, they, and uh, we were mostly uh, there to help people troubleshoot their issues um, but uh, we gave them hints as to what they might be doing but they were doing a lot of interesting things we got a very nice tutorial of uh, how to integrate uh, Nashorn into your uh, Eclipse projects we got uh, uh, somebody was taking the uh, module system that's being used in uh, most modern which are JavaScript frameworks that require JS and adopted it to, to, to actually run with Nashorn. We had people who were just uh, experimenting with writing Java programs that, that integrate Nashorn in it. So they were writing something in Java and then uh, and their Java program was calling into JavaScript, uh, passing variables to and from. Uh, they were measuring compilation times for the scripts. Uh, we had one person who... Uh, Aside from building the OpenJDK and Nashorn, he also built the uh, Google's V8 runtime and then he was uh, running some performance benchmarks against uh, uh, comp uh, comparing the two. Uh, so overall we had a lot of interesting projects, they uh, resulted in a, a lot of uh, lessons learned for them and for myself as well. So this was uh, really good because uh, I left the event with, uh, with a list of seven, eight items. Uh, Smaller bug, fi uh, uh, smaller bug fixes, uh, feature requests, and uh, 
other things. And for me, it provided a really, really good understanding of, uh, of how people will probably be using this uh, project in the future. And this still can influence some of our design decisions down the road. So it was really, really helpful. I'm, I'm absolutely glad that, uh, that uh, Ben and Ben and the Java user community decided to organize this. It was absolutely worth uh, attending. So can also p uh, individuals contribute to the project? Um, yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, Nashorn is uh, uh, in the open J in the, in the usual Open JDK repo. So the Mercurial repo for the Open JDK, it has a separate so-called forest that is Nashorn, and the contribution guidelines are the same contribution guidelines as are they for any other part of Open JDK. So if you have an, uh, an Oracle contributor agreement already. You can just uh, submit patches to us. Uh, if you don't have it, you can sign it, and then you can start contributing patching patches to us. And to be honest, we we would really be happy to have a lot of community involvement. We would like people contributing uh, tests. We would like having people contributing uh, maybe a browser emulation framework. There is a bunch of libraries that... Uh, we don't provide, we provide the basic runtime as we should, but uh, things uh, that a typical browser, uh, APIs, a Canvas, HTML5 audio, and so on, that are these days are being used to build nice uh, interactive applications. We don't have them, but obviously we could have all of those uh, working on top of the Java libraries, Java APIs. So, uh, you know, I think people should consider that as a challenge and we would be more than happy to see uh, as many people as, uh, as we can uh, coming with their ideas to the project. So, yes. And the project is, uh, is open source since December, right? Uh, yes, it was uh, pretty much a, a Christmas present to the community. We managed to open source it uh, to on the last work day before the Christmas holidays. So, uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's open source. It's uh, out there. Anybody can download the source and uh, inspect it, play with it, modify it, and submit patches. Thank you for talking to us today. No.